Welcome back. Well, the iPad has really simplified how we consume modern art forms like movies and like TV. But I met one artist who took the new technology and made it his canvas for the traditional art of painting. For artist David Kasson, the goal, simply put, is to keep it real. Realism for me is about truth. The paintings are, are my way of documenting my time here and trying to see it as accurately as possible and as honestly as possible is really important to me. At just 33 years old, Kasson has become a prominent New York artist and has traveled around the world to teach his craft. His success is largely because of his stunningly realistic paintings. They're so lifelike and nuanced, it's hard to believe they're actually paintings. And sometimes when people see them, 90% of the people who see my paintings think they're photographs. It's meant as a compliment, of course, but Kasson says actual photographs lack the texture and emotion of his paintings. So until the end of your 100 hours you spent with this person painting them, you've talked with them throughout the process, you know who they are, you've captured the little nuances of their expression and their emotion, and you're, they're pretty much, they're not a mile away anymore and they're not blurry, they're right next to you and you're shaking their hand. So it's really understanding who they are. And Kasson is now taking that understanding straight to an iconic piece of 21st century technology, the iPad. Helping pioneer a new trend in the art world, Kasson every now and then trades in his paintbrush for just his finger, using an application called Brushes to take his work from the canvas to the computer screen. I couldn't imagine having this like 10 years ago to draw with. It's like a portable color sketchbook that uh, I've had people give me cards on the subway because they saw me painting with it. Some people are using it to present their artwork and present almost like a portfolio, who they are. And then there's another wave of people that I think that are like David, who have been using every new media that comes out. Kasson cannot actually sell the images he creates on the iPad. The device is more of a way to showcase his other work, perfect his technique, and experiment with a new trend. I was number five in line to get to get it actually to get the iPad because I had um, been a little been drinking a little bit in the city and noticed that there's a lineup and I was like oh I might as well just jump online. Digital technology is a growing trend because young art students today uh, have grown up being surrounded by this. This is part of their who they are what they do. It's a huge means of, of communication so it's very natural to think that going forward uh, that will be in, the digital technology will be incorporated into how they think and uh, express themselves artistically. Kasson, who once used his unemployment benefits to further his art training, got his big break several years ago when a New York gallery owner spotted some of his work in Kasson's backpack. We found him a very gifted young drawing and painting uh, student, and then we've watched him evolve over the years. And Kasson's latest evolution is a true reflection of these high-tech times. If Da Vinci was around today, he'd be using the iPad, you know, to, to create things. He definitely would be. He'd be, using, he'd be using the latest cameras. He'd be trying to find, like, holographic cameras that could help him see, have a model sit for him longer or something. You know, he would be a total tech geek like me. A geek who produces some pretty impressive work, no matter how difficult the subject. <laughs> he did not a bad job. It's incredible. I mean, that's all on the iPad just with his finger making this kind of art, which is incredible. So he can paint, and then he's kind of transferred that talent onto the iPad. Here's a look right here. Look at the not, not too bad, huh? No. I look a little angry and tired, which I think <laughs> I was that day. <laughs> I shudder to think what an artist with fat fingers would do, though, with someone's, with someone's <laughs> portrait. No kidding. Good job, David. Thanks.